Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to NJ Cocktails. Thanks for joining us for another Tiki Tuesday. Today we are going to be celebrating National Rum Day and we're going to be mixing up Don's own grog. So let's get into the episode. All right, so uh, at the time of you guys watching this video, uh, I can tell you that yesterday, which was Monday, was National Rum Day. And so I thought, since I had to put together an episode for uh, Tiki Tuesday, I figured why not let's pick something that is very rum forward. And that wasn't hard to do, stick into the, the Tiki parameters. And I landed on Don's Own Grog, which is a 1930s Tiki recipe that was originally found in a notebook of a waiter that worked for Don the Beachcomber back in 1937 at his first bar. And this drink was thought to be Don's own personal grog recipe. And so that is what we are going to recreate today. This particular cocktail has a good amount of ingredients as a lot of these tiki drinks do, uh, but none of the stuff that we're using is too terribly difficult to come by, which is a good thing. Um, it does feature th three, three different kinds of rum. Uh, we're going to be using a golden Jamaican rum. Uh, I've chosen Smith & Cross for uh, our representation today. We're going to be using a dark Jamaican rum. Uh, I'm going with Karuba. And then we are going to be using a Martinique style rum. And so I went with a, uh, a Blanc Martinique rum. Um, for our choice. We're also going to be using a little bit of simple syrup. We're going to be featuring some grenadine as well and um, a blackberry liqueur, uh, other, otherwise referred to as creme de mure in um, a lot of, on a lot of bottlings. Um, I actually have some homemade creme de mure that I made a while back um, as an experiment and it's delicious and I don't get to use it very often so I'm actually really excited to use it today. Uh, and then we're also going to be using some lime juice and just a dash of Angostura bitters as well. And uh, I think without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with one dash of Angostura bitters into our tin. I'm using this uh, lovely Parisian style shaker uh, by Barfly Mixology Gear. So I um, just want to shout that out. I, I think this thing is absolutely gorgeous and I don't use it very much. So today we are... Uh, we're going to use it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and follow that dash of Angostura up by half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, pre-squeezed as I usually do. Put that right in the tin. We're going to need one quarter ounce of simple syrup. And for the grenadine, uh, the recipe that I am using is from Jeff Berry's Sip and Sa Safari Tiki book. Um, it calls for an eighth of a teaspoon uh, or six drops of grenadine, so you really, uh, you really don't need a ton of it. Um, actually, I'm going to go with a uh, uh, half teaspoon here, and I'm just going to kind of just give myself just a little bit. That's about six drops. One more drop in there, there we go. All right. All right, we need a quarter ounce of our blackberry liqueur, our creme de mure, so a quarter ounce of that. And that leaves us with our rums. So we're gonna do a half ounce of our Martinique. going to do a half ounce of our dark Jamaican, our Karuba. This bottle's holding on for dear life here. I've been using it a lot and I, it's almost there. And then we are going to use one full ounce of our 
Smith and Cross Jamaican rum. Oh boy. I'm gonna add a couple pieces of crushed ice to the tin and we're gonna whip shake this. Give it a good hard shake. We are going to be serving that in this vintage wine goblet glass. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm sure it's meant to hold something specific, but we're using it for this thing today. We're going to dump the contents of our shaker into the glass and we are going to top that up with our crushed ice. I'm using pebble ice today. You can use crushed ice or pebble ice. on it all right and for garnish we are going to grate a little nutmeg on top that nutmeg is lost forever it's rolled under the fridge Uh, and I'm going to throw an orchid on top as well. Like so. Last but not least, tiki straw. I'm using my new hookah straw from my man Andrew over at Surfside Sips. I just got a couple, uh, couple of new straws you guys will be seeing on the channel. And uh, there it is. Don's own grog. Definitely I've never tried this one before. This is a new one to me. Let's give it a try. when I was looking at the recipe that it might end up being a little bit too sweet but it really isn't it's, it's pretty well balanced to be honest I mean you could definitely taste the rum um, yeah you definitely can taste the rum but you can taste the blackberry liqueur in there you can you can uh, you know it's balanced out by the lime juice so it's not like overly sweet I, I thought that with the grenadine and the blackberry liqueur and then uh, you know quarter ounce of regular simple syrup it might end up a little bit too sweet but I wanted to make it to spec for the first time and see what I thought but it's it's actually it's actually not not too sweet it's, it's boozy but it's balanced it's got a little fruitiness to it from that blackberry this is good this is good I can drink this I can drink a couple of these really nice all right, well, there you guys have it. That's uh, that's Don's own grog, Don the Beachcomber drink. <clears throat> Hopefully you uh, guys enjoyed the episode today. If you did, don't forget to drop a like for us. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I know there's a couple of you out there that are watching videos and not subscribed. So help me out. Hit subscribe. It only takes a second. Uh, if you want to get notified when our videos go up, hit that bell icon as well. We'll see you guys on Friday with our next episode. And uh, that's it. I feel like there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember it. So see you guys next time. Cheers.